Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Craft Hour here on the Pink Fresh Studio channel. It's so nice to see everyone. I hope you're doing well. It's another Saturday and another time to design and have a lot of fun as we create and connect with Pink Fresh Studio. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Mr. Jeff Lindbergh. If you're new to the show, I'm so glad to have you here. It means so much. Uh, to say that you love me, why don't you give me a little thumbs up, a little connect, or take a quick moment to send uh, out to your socials that you're watching the show. That would mean the world as well. It's uh, Pink Fresh time, and it's one of my favorite times of the month. But this uh, particular show is uh, special to me because we actually have a designer, someone that may not feel so comfortable on the camera, but my goodness, feels very comfortable uh, making and creating and designing the products that we see. Uh, we're so glad that you're here. Who's here today? Let's take a look. Uh, we've got Virginia uh, looking forward to watching the show. So great. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. We have, uh, we know that, um, let's see, Starling. I'm sorry, my feed was slow. Starling is uh, here. We're so glad. Laura, 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 your show is uh, ready and in the um, uh, uh I can't speak today, is in our library. So be sure to check a replay with Laura's show. That was so much fun as well. We have Elsa here. We have Stacy here. Good morning, Stacy. Good afternoon, wherever you're from. Uh, we have Vicki, Paula, welcome. We're so glad you're here. And speaking of here, don't forget that our moderator in the sky, Miss Heather Hoffman, is moderating the show today. So be sure to say hello to Heather. Don't forget the more that you chat and comment, well, that's the more fun that you get to have, of course, but you also get entered into a chance to win a $25 gift card with Pink Fresh Studio and all of the products that we have. And uh, don't forget that today's so special, we're giving away two. So two $25 gift cards are here. So yeah, say hi to Heather and uh, let's uh, make sure that we have a great uh, experience today. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Our guest today is uh, so unbelievably kind and so unbelievably creative. Let's welcome our guest, Isha Gupta. Isha, welcome to the Craft Hour. Hi, Jeff. We're so glad that you're here. Isha, yeah. I was thinking to myself, and Heather may be able to check me on this, but mm -hmm. I think that you're my first guest that is actually mm -hmm. a designer as well, I think. I'm not quite sure because today's product, well, there's your name on it. Tell me, how did you get into designing products for Pink Fresh Studio? Oh, for Pink Fresh Studio. Okay. So it's like that. It was quite random and it was quite organic. I met Kenari recently and then I, we, were, we were just talking and we were talking about our hobbies and you know, crafting and all those things. And I was telling her, okay, I love to doodle. I love to draw flowers or draw. I mean, I like to illustrate. And then um, uh, she said, would you like to do it for us? I said, okay, why not? And uh, that's how basically it started. And then, yeah, she told me she's looking for a background floral stamp. So for this one, actually, this is the second stamp which I have with them. Yes, your second one and, for us. Yeah, you got a yeah. little zesty last time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because the first one was that lemon and birds. Maybe you remember. Oh, it was beautiful. Yes. And, uh, and I, I, I've always loved Pring Fresh style because it's, it's kind of vibe with me because it's feminine. It's um, whimsical. It it's is soft, like my creations. You'll see it's full of colors. It's little, it has a bit of movement. So yeah. yeah, that's how it started. Well, movement was exactly the word I was going to use because as you can see from the artwork that's demonstrated on the back, there's a mm -hmm. couple of things to think about and we're going to change the colors up today because she's matching some colors that are uh, favorites of mine. But the movement and the artistry of the flowers alone showcases that you could lay them out as they are or you could, and in this case, what we're going to do, we're going to die cut them out. Uh, mm -hmm. So there's a lot of uh, versatility here. Isha, I will tell you, you must be doing a good job for them because guess what? The product is sold out. I will tell wow. you that we at uh, Craft Hour, we like to do products that are available to you, but the popularity mm -hmm. of this particular product in the warehouse is out. Now, a couple <laughs> of things. Heather will follow along with us and share with you mm -hmm. that you 
more than welcome to hit the notify me button so that when it's back in stock, it can be shipped uh, to you. But everybody, mm -hmm. we will tell you that if Isha and I were to send you over there today, it would be out of stock. But again, we're only showing that there's some demonstrated products. And by the th way, the tips and stuff that we're doing today and that Isha is having is applicable to almost 99.5% of all of Pink Fresh's products. You can take the techniques that we're talking about today and do it with any card, which is great. Do you mind holding up your card on this view for a second to say where we're headed yeah. today? So this is the card which we are going to make. Look how beautiful that is. Two things. One is that we're going to use the better press systems and we're going to give mm -hmm. you some reminders about the versatility of those systems. But what I love is, do you see how she broke away the flowers and she reframed it in um, a new way and also is using color to draw our eye to the center box. And of course, we have uh, your favorite sentiments that you can add in order to make this. Uh, it was a popular card of, that you've used on the hop as well, right, Isha? Uh, that was a little bit different card. Yep. That was, well, uh, are you talking you about the rainbow one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So this Look is at that the... one. My goodness, it's so beautiful. But again, the same technique. Does everyone see that uh, better that's plus the, drop shadow? Yeah, that she that's has the there? masking technique. Yeah. Yeah. So we thought that it would be perfect for the application of today's card. Let's say hi to everybody before we head to the desktop desktops. We have Els here. We have Vicky here. Everybody is so excited that Isha is here, which is good. Today's product is Breezy Blossoms. Yep, it's exactly it. Jackie says gorgeous. We have Lori sharing mornings with everyone. And Jenny says, this is my favorite uh, release. So Isha, that's great. People are very excited about you. your release, Thank you, which everyone. is so good. Thank you and welcome everyone. Yeah, we're so excited. All right, we're gonna send um, Isha into the waiting room and when she comes back, her desktop is gonna be wider than what you want it to be. So give Isha just a second. She's gonna zoom in and she's gonna make it uh, perfect. But you're gonna at first think it's too wide. She needs to zoom in, I promise. She's gonna zoom in. Isha, I'm sending this one over to the waiting room. We'll see you in a second on your desktop, okay? All right, perfect. Everybody, you're watching The Craft Hour, so glad to have you here. My name is Jeff. I'm your host, Isha Gupta, designer, as well as my co-creator today, are joining us, and we're going to be making a card. Let's get Isha's desktop up on the feed. She's going to zoom in just a little bit so that we can get a tighter view for you, but you can see a little bit of a play into the colors we're going to use. Perfect zoom. Perfect. How's your audio, Hi, my friend? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Can you hear and me? And absolutely, we can absolutely hear you as well. Let's head over to my desktop to show off the colors that Isha wants us to use today. A beautiful rainbow assortment. As you can see, we're gonna have you pull bubble gum. Then we're gonna go over to mango sorbet, not in this order, by the way, but I'm just showing you in rainbow order. Sunshine, then we're gonna have a little key lime over to a waterfall, seaside, and a brand new color, Atlantis. And then you need your favorite black ink um, that is able to dry. We're going to need some of the products. My favorite one is our new Caitlin Schaefer Better Press. This plaid set is what we're going to be using. We've got our carriage as well as our chase all set to go. We'll talk about that in a second. And of course, uh, we have the ability to use the Better Press plate. Uh, if we needed to, it's matching dye. And then of course, stencils. You'll need your favorite masking options. We're gonna mask in several ways to get this technique. And uh, yeah, that's our that's our whole that's our whole shtick, right, Isha? Yeah, that's okay. perfect. Isha, um, you and I did some things off camera, but we will tell you when we have. Uh, we did that just right. so the show goes long, but we're gonna walk through as mm -hmm. much of it as possible. Isha, I right. take it we're going to start with this, correct? Uh, we are going to start with the better press system. Perfect. Because we are going to uh, take impression with the press plate. Yep, so there's our press plate all set to go. And, and then I have Isha... already put my paper to the chase. Yep, and Isha reminded me, because we want to use as much of this as possible, going light on the corners of your tape down will help you get the best impression. Isha, you were reminding me that um, just because we have a better press system from our friends over at Spellbinders, 
They don't mm -hmm. necessarily have to go get one. Tell everybody why. I mean, you can simply emboss it with your normal die cutting machine, but you, you have to do it just as you would do a die. So, uh, you I mean, depending on your machine, you have to uh, put that embossing mat and just run it through the die cutting machine. It would give a nice embossed look. Perfect. All right, yeah. I have my Platinum 6 ready to go. And do I send this through? And you were saying no need to spritz or anything with a better press system as is. Right, right. So I'll just take this to my uh, die cutting machine and come really fast. Perfect. All right, we're some mine as well through everybody. Now I may need to do a shim because that was too light on my end. Yep, I'm too light. I need to get a shim out. Let's see. I don't know if that will work. Let's see. All right. Yeah, you can put one shim or two shims, whatever. I mean, it depends on everybody's die cutting uh, machine. Yep. So it's it's the pressure which would make the difference. I'm gonna put some. So here you go. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's kind of pillowy, but it um, uh, gives you a drop shadow. The, breast, the better plate uh, does work beautifully there. All right, are we taking it off of the chase? Yes. Okay. So I've already taken it out. And then. Now this is gonna be the magic of masking, yes? Yes, so now we have to put our uh, post-it tape and just put it like, can you see these blanket lines? Yes. So we're making so kind of a perfect put... square, right? Right, right. All right, I'm going to pre-tape just a little bit here. I'm going to get this in the center. And like she said, I'm going to find my perfect square uh, there in the middle. And I'm going to mask off appropriately. And you said right there halfway uh, or below. What do you like to do? I mean, I'm doing it above the blanket line. You can do it wherever you want to do. I mean, it's it's very uh, forgiving. Okay. So I'm all set. All right. In case you're just tuning in, you're watching The Craft Hour. I'm your host, Jeff Lindberg. My special guest is Isha Gupta. Not only a new friend, but a designer at Pink Fresh Studio and a card maker herself. Uh, today's technique is uh, using a bunch of new products, but the exciting part are their products that she designed. All right. Making a perfect square, right? Well, it's almost perfect, yes. Yep, almost perfect. Yeah. Just like most card making, almost perfect. Right, right. <laughs> the beauty of handmade. So, All right. What colors are I'm we just, using for our square today? Yeah, that's waterfall ink okay. and seaside. Okay. Great. And we start sponging. What color do you like to start with? I'll start with waterfall. Okay. Just make sure when you tap your brush in the ink, tap it a bit on the side and then start sponging. So you'll get a soft blend. Yeah, everybody on the show knows that if there's one thing I struggle with, it is ink blending. But one day in the history of this show, I'm going to have a perfect ink blend. You will do it. So Isha, where are you uh, um, living? Where are we taking this call from? Uh, I'm in Switzerland. In so, Switzerland. Uh, 
Oh my right. goodness, that's wonderful. What is the weather like in Switzerland and what brought you to Switzerland? Uh, weather is, at the moment, it's quite uh, nice. It's less cold. Uh, we can see some sun. So that's a, you know, bonus. And uh, we came here about 27 years back. So my okay. husband got a job opportunity here. And at that time, my elder one was a baby. So I had no problems moving because I was not working. And we just moved here. And now this is our home, second home, let's say. Beautiful. Tell me really yeah. quickly with the application of this uh, waterfall, am I doing the whole thing or only the edging? You're doing the whole thing, but you okay. start at the edges and you slowly come towards the center. Okay. Yeah. So mo the most part of it is waterfall. And then we give, uh, we'll give accent with the seashore, the seaside. You got it. Okay. This waterfall is beautiful. Yeah, it's, I really love this color. Um, aren't you so impressed by the expansion of Pink Fresh's coloring, uh, colorways? The new inks are um, just really, um, were bold, but they were also so complimentary to, um, it was almost like you never knew it was missing. And then yeah, it, true. it flushed it all out, you know? Right, right. They're really beautiful colors. Now, do you uh, consider color when you are um, creating or do you just have to actually not think like that? Uh, I don't think actually it comes naturally and uh, I love colors. Right, so that's right. the thing. I, I really love colors and I it just comes like for now, for example, I'm sponging with these colors now. And when I start doing the flowers, I will have a look at this uh, piece of paper, the piece of card. And then I'll just take whatever colors, you know, fancy me that time. Right. Tell me, uh, are we ready to move over to Seaside? Yes, I've okay. already started. Sorry. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> No, that's your job. You you have to finish the card. I have to host and try to finish the card, but we'll see. Oh, so I can I can be faster. You can be you can be uh, as fast as you think I can handle. But uh, yeah, no, the, the, your job is to finish the card. My job is to hopefully finish the card. They only um, they only send me to the Pink Rush Studio Jail just a, for a couple of days, not a whole week or anything. So tell me, because I can't see you on my uh, desktop camera, just tell me when you're ready with your, finish with your sponging. Sure. Just and uh, then doing, we're ready. Sorry? Just doing um, a little light framing of the seaside, and then I'm going to come back in with uh, Waterfall one more time, and then I'll be ready for you. All right, perfect. And then we can reveal the magic together. Okay, sounds good. Let me just do some Waterfall to give her some love. Balance her out a little bit. Should have tapped that off, but we'll put a sentiment right there. Okay, shall we reveal together? Yes, sure. Oh, we love a good line, don't we? Here you go. Nice. I love that we are going to take this in the direction of a um, softer uh, image, but look how modern and um, strong this looks. Uh, yeah. We add the flowers, yeah. All right, there we go. There's mine. Now, Perfect. everybody, a, a friendly reminder about iPhones and Zoom and YouTube and bit rates is that we use the same colors. Mine is reading a little uh, more turquoise. Hers is reading blue. I bet that her color accuracy is more accurate than mine. I know this doesn't throw things off, but I promise we're using the same products. It's just that we're not in the same place. It's nighttime in Switzerland. It's daytime here yeah. in Orlando. <laughs> uh, so things are going to look just a little different. Okay, uh, what's next? What's next on our list? So next we are going to stamp our image. 
I'll just keep it to the side. You got it. All right. So I already have my stamp in Misty, stamp and paper. So the product also comes with a rubber stamp. And so you're using that right. pink rubber stamp, right? Right. So for the Misty, you have to remove that foam pad. Now, through the magic of television, everybody, I've already done this. We're going to watch Isha do this one. All right. So I'm using the Pink Fresh Detail Black. And it's just, it takes a little bit longer to dry. So I also have a piece ready. Look at that. It's beautiful. So yeah, based on the ink that you use, dry times may vary. So that's the reason why I did mine in advance. And like she said, she's already done hers, which is good. A lot of love of the new colors. A lot of people loved our reveal, Isha. So they're already loving the look and how it went. Perfect. All right. It's time. Is it stencil so, time? Yes, that's the magic time. Now, everybody, I will tell you, every time y'all watch the show, you want me to make my life easier on stenciling. I have not learned that lesson yet. So you're about to watch me have to reframe stencils. The good news is, is uh, we can just line them up. I have yeah. the waffle. I have the waffle flower thing. I have the Brutus Monroe thing. Do you think that I'm going to remember to do that? for the show one day, maybe, but instead, <laughs> instead, look at that. Hers are ready to go. All right, let's go to my desktop. Watch me tape away and don't, uh, don't everybody mock me too much. Okay. I All guess right. I'm... So this stencil, it, it's six, six layers of stencil. We start with the first layer. These are just those beautiful base flowers, right? Right, right. And I'm going to use bubblegum and sunshine inks. Now you're giving us a caution about yellow. What do you want us to remember about this beautiful yellow? I would use yellow. I mean, first I would use the bubblegum. And then I would use yellow because yellow tends to be a little bit stronger and it somehow uh, you get more orangey colors but i would like to keep it a little bit separate and okay. just blend it in, in the center so for that reason okay. again tap tap on the side and simply ink blend excuse me bless you you know of the florida pollen we're already starting up here with Well, do you have hay fever? Sometimes I do. Um, I feel like I okay. spend most of my uh, adult, well, even my child life uh, with sneezing, mm -hmm. with allergies. Oh, because my younger daughter, she has strong hay fever. So she starts, like for her, the pollen, uh, the, the trees, they start in February and it goes on until September. So, yeah. All right, so these are going to be beautiful bubblegum flowers, right? Right. I mean, it's mix bubblegum and sunshine. So okay. it's kind of yellow, orange, and pink flowers. Now, do you want me to have a lighter um, hand here? Sorry? Do you recommend a lighter hand here, or do you want me to go heavier? Yes, very light. Isha, so do, do you, you see... Do you remember uh, the first time that you fell in love with uh, paper crafting? Paper crafting is like I've been doing it all my life. Yeah. It's just card making. I started about 14 years back. So my husband was studying for uh, for his MBA and I had two kids. So I needed something to de-stress me. Okay. And I start. I think I came across Jennifer McGuire's video or, you know, those kind of videos, mostly Jennifer McGuire. And I bought my first stamp set from Hero Arts. Okay. And that's how it started. <laughs> that's how it started. And 
yeah then then actually i i got into publishing in in the magazines there was this paper craft magazine if you remember yes and so i got into publishing i got published in some of the uk magazines as well and unfortunately the magazines are not here anymore but uh, yeah so then i i designed for some of the companies like i was guest designing and i was in design teams of few companies and uh, yeah so i'm still crafting i'm still making cards i i sometimes do make scrapbook pages but i don't share it online no, I get it. Now, what is the technique with uh, bringing in the sunshine? Do I do it from the center or the side? What is there anything I need to think about here? On the sides, okay. I mean, you just have to do very, very little of yellow, not okay. too much. I'm done with stencil one. I will move on to stencil two. Because you told me to finish the card. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I will catch up to you in two seconds. Everybody watching the show, be sure to interact with Heather. You know that Heather is in my ear and she can talk to me. So if you feel like I'm ignoring you or that Isha is not getting a question that you really wanted to hear, uh, we are more than welcome to um, to uh, get a doorbell in my ear and then um, we can ensure that your question gets answered. I hope you're enjoying uh, my special guest, uh, as this yellow brings in a lovely little uh, orange feel to it, which is great. Okay, I'm done with stencil one. I'm headed to stencil two, you said? Perfect, yeah. And you have to use bubble coming for that. Okay. And this time you can be a little bit strong. I mean, you can do it a little bit harder. Okay. This is giving us um, the centers or the heart of each of the flowers, the stamens, if you will, or the base. Uh, not the stamens, but the centers, yes, and centers. some of the folds. Clearly, I need to go back to my science class. <laughs> but I have studied, uh, I had science as my subject in the university, so that's why my love for flowers and, you know, critters sure. it comes from there. I'm headed back to bubblegum here. Yeah. Okay. And you're inviting a heavier hand here because it's the center. Right. Right. So I don't know if I'm going to ask this question correctly. When um, you and Kinnery and her team are creating how the product will end up being cut in these layers, do you uh -huh. have to think about that or does Kennery just take the art that you thought of and then her team do the layers like how cart before horse so, like what happens right so for the first one I had no idea how things are done right so I just drew the image and then uh the the designer in Kennery's team Aina she helped with the um, where to put shadows I mean she did uh, help with the stenciling and um, and the die cuts. But okay. for the second one, I I mean, I learned a little bit because the first one was really old school. Yes, and for yes. the second one, and then I, I did the shading how I knew. So I drew it and then, um, yeah, so they made, the, they turned it into the stencil. I'm pretty sure Aina must have done some corrections because I'm still new to all these things. Sure. Headed over yeah. to stencil three with uh, our blue flowers. Right. So it's blue and it's, uh, so we are using now um, waterfall. And we'll be using, what's that? Yeah. We'll be using mango sorbet. And we'll be using seaside. Got it. The uh, this is where I have to be careful to um, tape off some things. Right. So if you're too near, like, for example, this this flower and the bud are too near. So what I do is I just put a small post-it and then I don't have to think much about it. OK. So when you are using waterfall, just be very light handed to the whole flower. 
and then when you take sea uh, seaside just do it towards the center center of the flower got it so we're only doing the large flowers right now yes right now the blue ones right and we're doing that with waterfall you said yes okay Need to be lighter, need to be a little lighter. <laughs> yes, it has to be lighter. And Jeff, once you finish with the waterfall, just wipe your stencil so that the blue color doesn't come to the orange buds. Okay. Nice little tip there, we'll wipe that down. I was a little heavy on my first one, so I need to either change brushes or go a little lighter. That's okay, everything will look, will look nice in the end. Isn't that a good reminder for life? Right. Sticking with a uh, waterfall though, yes, for all of these flowers. Yeah, so finish the waterfall and then I move to seaside and just toward the center, give some shadow. Okay. And the good thing about pink fresh inks is they absorb in paper. So after a little while, you will get a smoother flower. Did you finish your blue flowers, Jeff? Um, I am on my waterfall, and you want me to come in with just a light seaside in the centers, yes? Right, right. Okay. You are more than welcome to move on, and I will catch up to you if you want me to. Yeah, that's what I'm doing the buds now. Okay. Yes, this uh, seaside definitely gives some nice dimension and depth to the. Right. When you move to your next color, that is mango sorbet, just let me know, please. All right. I'm ready to move to mango sorbet. And I'm doing. All right. Yeah, sorry. Doing the buds, you said? Yes. So some of the buds keep a light pressure, and some for some of the buds, you can be heavy handed because then you get a nice variation in color. Okay. A little detail brush here. I love these pink fresh blender brushes. I do too. I'm using a combination of those and Alta New. Mm-hmm. Now I'm doing all of my buds, my small oval buds in this mango. Right. Okay. And you want me to vary my pressure to get very, to get some different um, depth? Yeah, right. Okay. Friends, if you're watching the show, uh, we are using Breezy Blossoms, which is currently uh, one of Isha's newest products that she helped design for Pink Fresh Studio. Um, and it's been extremely popular in the shop. So it's uh, we hope to get it back in. But, you know, the best part of this is that you can always hit notify me as a way to get it back in your shopping cart. The computer will absolutely find when inventory is back and available to you. And from there, uh, they will send you a notification that helps you put it right back in your cart so that you can have this. This line comes with um, lots of versatility to it and different options. And we are just showing you one way to use um, the products.
quiet students, we're quiet students working on our project. So where are you, Jeff? I'm ready to move off of mango sorbet. I'm switching uh, my stencils, yes? No, not yet. So not you yet. have to do the stamens in sweet mustard. Okay. So yeah. sweet mustard. I don't know if I pulled that. Let me pull that really quick. Doesn't matter. Uh, you have the other yellow, right? The sunshine? Yep. I'll, use sun use I'll use sunshine instead, okay? Yeah, you can use sunshine. That's the best part of paper crafting. It's so forgiving. Right. So I'm doing the centers of these tiny little dots. Yep. Right. Everybody, I'm gonna come say hi to y'all on camera in just two seconds. I just want to catch up to make sure Isha's not waiting too much on me. I right. moved to my fifth stencil, fourth stencil, actually. I'm moving as well. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. Uh, fourth stencil is also. You have a... to use. Okay. And this is us using a blue, I take it? That's Atlantis. Atlantis, okay. Right. All right, everybody, I think we're ready to pick our first $25 gift card. Cross your fingers, make sure those thumbs up and likes are hit. Get the computer to pay attention to you and we'll get um, Miss Heather to give us a first name. Isha, I love this um, Atlantis so much. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Thank you. So all good uh, till now, Jeff? Yes, indeed. Perfect. Right. So now I'm moving to my fifth stencil. Okay. And we'll be using key lime and waterfall ink. Okay. So I'll be starting with key lime, basically whole of the leaves. And then towards the bottom part, I'll use some waterfall just for variation. Okay. Lining up mine really quick, and I'm going to jump on camera and say hi to everybody while you watch her color, and I'll catch up to her in just a second. All right, so a couple of things. First of all, Rebecca, uh, I'm sorry, we have our first uh, winner. We have, it is Mom Snoozy 3. Mom Snoozy 3. Mom, I'm Snoozy. Congratulations, Mom Snoozy 3. Yes, congratulations, $25. Um. Roberta was asking um, in the comments to tell you if you uh, if you finally made it. Um, uh, I don't know what that meant, Roberta. Help clarify with uh, that question what that meant. Did you finally make it? We'll see. Hi, everybody. You're watching the Craft Hour. Hope you're following me on uh, Instagram at Mr. Jeff Lindberg. And Isha is going to give her details at the end of the show. I need to get back to my desktop. But it's good to see everybody. So glad that you're here. Uh, I love everybody saying hi. Donna's here as well. Um, let's see. Hi, Julie's Donna. here. Hi, Julie. So glad that you're here. All right. I got to get back to work. I got to get some green. Got to get some green on this machine. <laughs> Stand by. All right. Moving back to mine. And I am using key lime, you said? Right. Roberta, if you want to re-ask the question in a different way, we will find a way to get it asked and Isha can answer the story behind that. Yeah, 
you know, I really love how detailed these stencils are. I actually didn't know when I was designing that they could be so detailed. And I was surprised when I got the stencils for this flower. Now, I take it you get the stencils ahead of time to see if it's matching your vision? Uh, no, actually, Kenari does that. Okay. And yeah, and then she showed me and it was anyhow beautiful. So um, I didn't have to do anything. Yeah. The Pink Press Studio audience has heard me say this before, but I love that stencils really make you look like a pro because they do all the work for you, you know? Exactly. And then you don't have to spend that much time in coloring or, you know, if you want to. I mean, yes, the results look really nice if you're watercoloring or maybe Copic coloring. But this this is so easy and so fast without you knowing a lot of, you know, working with a lot of mediums. Sure. Now, so, you, said, you said that I am going to stay on this stencil, but I'm going to bring in another color. Yeah. So I bought Waterfall. Okay. And then uh, if you see, I'm just doing towards the base of the leaves. Okay. Just for little color variation. It gives more interest to the, otherwise everything would look flat. Okay. So yeah, this way it doesn't look flat and it gives some dimension. This is you knowing color theory. I, I uh, would have not been smart enough to do this. You are good at what you do, Jeff. <laughs> I'm good at, at talking. I don't know if I'm always good at making or color picking, but I will tell you that color, color uh, plucking is the hardest thing for me. That's the one um, I was thinking. I've been going on Pinterest to try to get some color combo inspiration, you know, mm -hmm. hoping that would help, help me pick the right colors. Yeah. Pinterest is great, actually, for people who who really need help with colors or whatever. I mean, there are so many nice images and so many nice color combinations. You don't have to do much. Right. So that's really a great place. All right. And now I'm on to my last layer. Let's do a little reveal here, and I will do my last layer as well. Oh How goodness. much time that... do we have, Jeff? We are currently 15 minutes left. Oh, okay. It's like a One baking, time. it's like a it's like a British baking show. So can I can I hurry and um finish this? Yes, yes. Uh but and then if... I... sorry. Yes, feel free. Uh what color are we doing on this last one? So last one is Atlantis, but I think you don't have Atlantis out right now. You can use Seaside. Okay, I have Atlantis out. I can do it. Okay, perfect. You can be heavy-handed. Okay. Here's Atlantis, okay. everybody. So the Atlantis uh, just make, gets it just um, the depth. But is that why we're going so dark with this? Yeah, it's it's just the veins part of the leaves. Or wherever the leaf is turned, it's just that part. So mine is done. All right, I am too. All right, so I'll go back to die cutting now. Oh, so beautiful, okay. All right. It's time to die cut, huh? Right, it's time to die cut and play with the flowers. Okay. This is where I think a lot of people see the biggest forgiving because all of those splotches, all of the um, way that you maybe were, uh, you think you were heavy handed, 
this is where I think that for me, this is another good reveal, you know? Right. So I'll quickly go and die cut this uh, paper. Perfect. And I'm taking a moment to really line mine up for y'all. Okay. I'm back, Jeff. Okay, I'm back too. And now uh, you were saying that this is where we're. Um, what is, do you poke them each out? Okay. Yeah, you have to poke them out. I'm using my pink flesh tool to poke them out. Yes, let's get that out. Is up so that you can see them. Just incredible. I that it never gets old to see um, how when a color expert like you uh, picks the right colors and gives the dimension and life that the flower um, needs. You know. Thank you, Jeff. And the the great thing about this dye is it cuts all the flowers at one go. So you don't have to really like cut each flower individually. So that's the best part. And friends, I will hold up some of my flowers so that you can see the color choices that Isha had for us to bring in that dimension. Um, and I love the word that she used, flat. None of the colors that she chose allowed for it to be flat, being really brave with bringing in blues that help complement the greens. And of course, bringing in those uh, sunshine and uh, bubble gum, really bringing that bubble gum to life. Let me hold some of these up for you all so that you can kind of see the dimension. Let's take this guy right here. Yeah, these are so pretty. Look at that. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so now I guess we have not enough time or do we have enough time? Because what I have done is I have pre-prepped a little bit. I've put some three, 3D foam at the back of some flowers, which yeah. I had done previously. So I've, yeah. I'm going to use that. Pete, feel free to, perfect. All righty. So you can be creative with your cluster. You can add less flowers. You can add more flowers. It all depends on you. I mean, it's your choice. And friends, uh, I will tell you that you're going to be like, where did you get your ephemera? I decided to do an eph ephemera from Pink Fresh. Uh, these are um, the ones that I'm using um, as my sentiment. Um, and Heather is probably like, I don't know which one that's from, everyone. But just know that there's amazing ephemera. <laughs> Uh, out there uh, for you to use. I'm going to use the sentiment that says, friends take care of each other. Isha, I hope that today, um, you know, I probably should wait another uh, six minutes to ask you this, but I hope that I was a friend and helped you. Everybody, I want you to know how good Isha is. She made this card for me um, and showed it to me and edited a quick little video together so I would know exactly how to prepare for today. Um, I tell you, my guests, Laura Evangeline, Cheryl SB, it, they just take such good care of me. They make my job just too easy. Carissa, uh, as you know, remember Laura's show, she sent me stuff. Um, I'm just super... Uh, Super, um, oh, you're so right about how just even one flower um, does all the work for you, right? 
Yeah, I mean, they are quite forgiving. So you can just play with them, whatever like, you like, you can put. So I'm just going to make a cluster of it. And... Friends, you'll remember. You can do, you can do what speaks to you. <laughs> yeah, that's the best part. You remember yeah. that I was worried that I was um, had a little ouchy of a drop shadow that was a little too bold. Um, but the best part is that this sentiment is uh, thick enough that it will cover that. And you could do the same thing with the flowers, right? If you didn't like something, you could right. cluster to, to do that. Just play around and whatever you like, wherever you like. All right, let's go ahead and look for our second gift card winner so we can get two. I'm gonna put mine a little bit to the side here just to give it some interest. Get that drop shadow in. I'll show you how this is shaping up by holding it up. As you can see, Isha is uh, creating her cluster right now, but this is where mine's sort of heading right now. Let's bring in one of those beautiful blue flowers. Isha, will you uh, uh, sleep better tonight knowing that you got the show? Uh, yeah, out? I guess <laughs> I guess so. But you're wonderful, Jeff. I mean, I was so nervous before and yeah, now I'm thinking why was I so nervous? So. <laughs> I, he I hear that so much. I bet there's a lot of people in the chat who have been on the show and can tell you that they all felt the same way. Even I get a little nervous too, you know. Um, for me, the majority of my nerves come from, and it's so silly to say this because Leah... Uh, does so much of this work for me but it's the stuff right before the show uh the promotion mm -hmm. making sure that my camera will work and stuff because we don't do the show except for once a month so that means that every time um i have to do a setup the setup feels like i've never done the show before because i've got to re um focus everything and try to get the camera right and I will tell you, Isha, I don't know if you've done this before, but I bought a brand new desk. And mm -hmm. um, everybody, this is the last craft hour that you're going to see this desk set up. I am going to, um, I bought a new desk. It's here, it's downstairs, um, but it's going to be closer to the window so that each of you who have been frustrated by my lighting um, will have the ability to see my projects a little bit better. So excited about that. It's not going to be easy to build that desk. Do you like doing stuff like that? Do you like um, designing your craft room and buying uh, all the I, cabinets and stuff? I do, but you know, uh, my craft desk is in our office room. Okay. So I don't get to expand a lot because my husband also has his desk here. Okay. And, uh, but yeah, whatever I have, I keep changing stuff or I keep bringing new stuff what uh, outside and put the old stuff behind somewhere in the um, Almira. Sure, sure. In my cupboard. So, Jeff, I'm done with my cluster. Perfect. You ready to add a sentiment? Just a second. Yes. Can you see it? Yeah, and can you see, my, I, I don't know if you can see mine, but I promise you would be proud of it if you could see it. <laughs> and look, the 3D uh, foam makes it look three, uh, the, the, it gives such a good dimension. We started with just one layer of card. And. Yeah, now, perfect. Yeah, perfect. So I pre-prepped my sentiment, uh, Jeff. I took pure joy stamp okay. and I'm using this sentiment called thank you for being so sweet. Perfect. And I use the die cut. 
And I have my sentiment ready. That's the magic of, what do you call television? I said the magic of television. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That's the magic of television. Let's say hi to everybody. Stacy. so glad that you're here. Stacy shares that she just has a corner in the tiny studio apartment in San Francisco. Uh, the craft supplies uh, seen um, to be spreading, taking over. I know how you <laughs> feel, my friend. Um, hey, everybody, if you have any final questions for Isha, feel free to. Um, Isha, if you don't mind, I'm going to send this desktop over to um, the waiting room and I'm going to bring you back on camera. Sound good? Yeah, perfect. Okay, stand by for just a second. Remove. Whoops. We don't want to remove her. We just want to send her to the waiting room. Stand by for just a second. Put in waiting room. All right, let's admit her. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching the craft hour today. It's always fun to make products with each of you. Isha, there you are. Perfect. Look, can, oh, can you see mine yet? Already. I, I just put it on the card, white card base. Oh, wow, Jeff, it looks beautiful. Yeah, I agree. Yours is beautiful too. I thought I'd bring some gold mm -hmm. in. And yeah, um, after the show, nice. I'll add more clusters uh, going up um, when I have just a moment. Yeah. It looks Isha, beautiful. that was such that was such an easy card that um, looks not easy. I think, <laughs> again, I keep saying that about Pink Fresh Studios and the designers is that um, they do all the heavy lifting for you. And then when the product gets to you, a little bit of your own, um, ten, you know, getting a little bit of your own artistic um, eye in there. And before you have it, you're good. All right. We're so excited to share that Linda Cook wins our second $25 gift card. So congratulations. congratulations. Um, we're getting so Linda. many compliments in the chat. We um, have Stacy saying she only, she always loves watching. Paula says, I enjoyed today. Thank you. Donna says, this looks amazing. Um, and let's see, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. I didn't see that you were here today. Uh, this was fun and inspiring. I think that's the best part. And that's the one reason why I was so glad that Isha said yes, is that I wanted to see how a designer applies and makes it live in front of everybody, which is good. Well, Isha, you survived craft hour. I think you deserve a round <laughs> of applause. Congratulations. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Uh, we need to we, we need to give a shout out to your amazing daughter daughter who helped with all the tech set up right so thank her yes. tell her that we said thank you which was great everybody um please follow both of us isha remind everybody where they can follow you oh my instagram that's isha gupta underscore ig and then i have my blog that's hobby and ideas dot blogspot dot com great so yeah and I'm also on Facebook, but yeah, you can follow awesome. me here. Well, friends, there we go. Isha Gupta's beautiful design and the sunshine there. I have sunshine. She has the moonlight in Switzerland. But no matter what, we love spending the Saturday with you. I hope that you have a great weekend, no matter what hour of the international world it is for you. Craft Hour always brings people together by creating and connecting. Thanks to our moderator in the sky, Heather, for helping us. Thank you always you, make Heather. everything better, Heather. Yeah. And everybody, enjoy your day. If you're watching this on replay, don't forget to leave comments. We answer and talk and look at all of them. And again, make sure Isha and I, I get a follow from you because we'd love to say hi to you on our socials. Isha, enjoy your weekend. And thank you, you so much for being on the Craft Hour. Thank you, Jeff, for making me less nervous. <laughs> <laughs> anytime. You can come back anytime. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you soon here at Pink Fresh Studio Bye -bye, Craft everyone. Hour. See you soon.